dias, everybody, or should I say, buenas tardes. I just, I'm screaming. Well, I'm not, I'm just laughing. Um, I've just arrived in Cartagena uh, from Leticia. I just took two flights up here. By the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Christiane and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. I've just been traveling north way through Peru and now I am in Colombia which is very exciting I have traveled the majority of Colombia but the reason that I have come back is because when I was last here in 2020 I had to cut my trip a little bit short um, because of the pandemic of course and uh, the one thing that I really really wanted to do that I didn't get to do was do the trip from Cartagena in Colombia to Panama via the San Blas Islands. You go on a boat because you can't travel across land. And so I thought, you know what? On this trip, I'm not going to Ecuador anymore. I'm gonna go and live out that dream. So today I've just arrived in Cartagena. I'm gonna be here for the next couple of days and that's what I'm gonna be documenting in this vlog. And in the next one, we're gonna be sailing our way to Panama. My hair, I don't know what happened in Panama, but like the ends got so dead. I don't know if it was something to do with the water, but every time I washed it, it was so grim. And when I arrived here, I was like, this needs to be sorted. So literally the first thing I've done is gone to a hairdresser's and she's literally, you've probably never seen me like this she has straightened it to within an inch of its life <laughs> it's so like I mean she did all right at cutting off the dead ends I was questioning the technique a lot I've never seen anyone cut hair like that but hey ho I do think that the ends are better I don't know how I feel about the straight hair but Alas, this is going to be the look for Cartagena. So anyway, going to head back to the hostel now. My friend Jess is joining me for the next week or so, and I'm so excited to see her. I literally haven't seen her since I lived in Mexico, because that's where I met her. I think she should be arriving on the plane pretty shortly. So yeah, I don't know where I'm going to find her. Probably, hopefully back at the hostel. And this haircut for a wash, cut and blow dry was 40,000 pesos, Colombian pesos which I believe is about six pounds, which is really, really good. So I cannot complain, can I? So I'm staying in the little uh, village of Getsemeni, which is just outside of the old town in Cartagena. It's a really, really good place to stay, especially for backpackers, but they, because the accommodation is cheaper than it is in the old town, but it's really, really close by. And it's also a really, really cool part of Cartagena to stay. Um, I've stayed here uh, in the past, though I've never made a vlog in Cartagena. I think this is the first one, which is exciting. Um, so I'm staying in a hostel called Life is Good and I'm just walking there now. Good morning everybody, look who I'm with! Hello! It's Jess! We're back together! We are back together, we literally haven't seen each other in two years since Mexico. So it's so so nice to be back with Jess and we've like planned this whole next week together mm -hmm. which is going to be so so nice and today in Cartagena honestly we don't have like a big plan because we've just kind of got things to do errands to run this isn't either of our first time in Cartagena um yeah 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 so we're just running we're doing some logistical yeah. things logistical things yeah. but also I do want to go salsa dancing tonight okay let's go salsa dancing yeah I, I that's something that like you know we're in Colombia for like two days and so I just feel like that's that's what I want to do. Salsa, 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 salsa. <laughs> This is the rooftop here on our hostel at Life is Good. It's really nice actually. And I feel like there's like hardly anyone in this hostel right now. My hay fever is absolutely off the chain. I feel like this actually often happens to me when I arrive in a new country, having not been there for a long time or for the first time. Like my hay fever just, just goes absolutely wild. So I've taken a tablet, but yeah, my nose is really running and it's kind of annoying, but it's the life of someone with hay fever. I'm sure a lot of you can probably relate as well. Um, and it's coming in thick and strong in Cartagena. Uh, but Jess and I have just been chilling on the rooftop for a bit of time. Yeah, we're just maxing and relaxing really because we don't have a whole lot to do in Cartagena. So why not just enjoy our time off? We 
sound a little bit snacky. So we came for some <laughs> That's good, that's good. We're feeling a little bit peckish, so we've come into the old town and we're gonna get some, oh, well, we're in a restaurant called El Rincon, which had good reviews on Google Maps. I love looking at Google Maps reviews for things these days. Like, I don't know about you, like, does anyone actually use TripAdvisor anymore? Because I don't. But I do enjoy looking at the Google Maps reviews and I feel like they're generally quite accurate. This place called El Rincon had five stars. So I've just ordered some sushi. Yeah, we gotta feed the sushi queen. <laughs> There's like two constants on my channel. It's ice caramel lattes and sushi. It's always what I'm looking for wherever I am in the world. <laughs> oh, this looks absolutely stunning. It just oh, yeah. started for a Pokemon. Oh, it looks good. So this is the famous Cafe Del Mar. It looks like they're only just opening now. Because it's like a massive queue outside. Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> Do you think we need a reservation? No. Surely not. They give you like a bunch of different breakfast options here. Um, one of them is always like a traditional Colombian option, which is hot, which is what we've gone for. So we have patacones. Is that the name of this? Patacon. So it's like smash um, plantains. Smash plantains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're frantically looking at our phones because today we've got to get to Nicocli, which is like six or eight hours away. So we're just figuring out our transport options right now, but we still want to get a body scrub and a manicure before we go. But we'll see what timings allow us to do. Because the transport terminal in Cartagena, it's like 40 minutes away from Getsemane and the old town. It's really, really far, which seems a bit crazy considering that the airport is only 15 minutes away. But alas, we'll do what we need to do to get to the places we need to go. We're just checking out of this room now, but this has been our nice little private room. A little bit of storage space and also the bathroom. I've got to say the water pressure here, the shower was really, really good. Jess thinks that this hostel actually feels more like a... It's like a hotel. Yeah, it does feel it's like It like like doesn't even feel like a hostel here at all. Yeah. which is called, it's called Uraku. Uh, it's in the old town of Cartagena. It's got really, really good reviews on uh, Google Maps. And I'm just in desperate need of a body scrub. I've actually never had one in my life, but after coming from the Amazon, I just I feel like no matter how many showers I've had now, there's just like this layer of dirt. <laughs> that I need to get rid of. And so I feel like for the first time in my life, I'm gonna have a body scrub. And this little spa is absolutely gorgeous. So it's gonna cost me 90,000 Colombian pesos and it's gonna be like 30 to 40 minutes. I've never had such like a bougie self-indulgent couple of days. Obviously I got my hair cut the other day, which I feel like looks better now that it's a bit more disheveled. I'm just not used to seeing myself with like really, really straight hair. I just got my nails done, a nice little peachy color, which I thought would look good like when I've got a tan and I got my toenails done the same color. And they did it so well, like just so particular and 
really going into detail and making sure that they were doing it absolutely perfectly, which I really appreciated. So I got gel on my fingers and on my toes, and they were both around 50,000 Colombian pesos each. So I think it cost me 100,000 Colombian pesos to get a manicure and a pedicure. And now, what are we doing now, Jess? I genuinely don't know. <laughs> I was just thinking. We're going for a wander and going for a shop. I don't know. Oh yeah, I just did some shopping. I bought a new bikini, which is reversible. And I also got some shorts. And, oh, this is a cute little street. Which is bad backpacking bananas. I'm not supposed to do shopping for clothes when I'm backpacking because I don't have room in my backpack. <laughs> don't want to send another package home, but this is what always happened. Okay, Jessica, I'm trying the bathing suit. Uh, we have booked our bus to Monterey. It's going to be tonight at 9.45, which is really nice because it means that we have the rest of the day just to kind of chill, do more shopping, eat some good food, use the good Wi-Fi, because we're not going to have good Wi-Fi after we leave Cartagena, I don't think. We've come to an espresso bar called a Boca. A Boca. A Boca. <laughs> got a massive chocolate cake and a flat white and a cappuccino. And I've got to say, this is exactly what we were looking for. We were saying we want some coffee, we want to sit outside, but we don't want to be kind of bothered by everyone who bothers you in the street when you are literally just outside anywhere in the old town of Cartagena. So we, this is lovely. It's this like perfect. nice balcony. We can people watch. But they can't sell us anything. <laughs> Ideal. Yeah.